Good morning class. This course is to learn SAP ABAP development for beginner's guide. And today we will talk about an overview on SAP ERP system. So let's start. So let's start with an introduction to SAP ERP. First of all, let me hide this toolbar. So ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning. So basically ERP are big and you can say large software which holds data and processes of large firms. Like you can say those firms who have terabytes of data and have more processes than a small firm or a small owner shop or medium firm. So they go for ERP system to manage all their daily routines daily all their financial transactions and all the processes through erp system so in sap there are around 28000 plus tables in sap which stores data for all kind of processes and all the departments of that firm or business so who are the big erp vendors so SAP is on the top of the list of these vendors. SAP is the world's, world's largest ERP system. And after that, there come Oracle maintained by PeopleSoft. And then you have other uh, ERP system like Microsoft Dynamics and other ERPs are also available. So depending on your business needs, you can go for whatever ERP suits you as per your financials so basically SAP uh, ERP is an R3 enterprise and three layer enterprise system like you can see in this diagram it has modules related to every department or function in any kind of business firm or corporate sector or any kind of uh, multinational offices like you can say there are many modules you can see in this diagram QM stands for quality management PS project system PM stands for plant maintenance module and there is PP production planning as this stands for sales and distribution MM for materials management HR human resource AM asset management and overall these are comes under financial accounting and controlling CO. So let's move forward. So SAP can use a number of database programs to actually store the data and the database which they use in the backend is Oracle or DB2 or MS SQL. Mostly there is Oracle in the backend of SAP ERP systems. So whenever a company decided to buy a SAP system, they need to make configuration of their system or you can say installation of their SAP system as per requirements of that company and what processes and what modules are they buying. So first of all, you have to look for your uh, number of employees and as per number of employees, then you decide to go which SAP. Uh, ERP you are going to buy like enterprise edition business one or another one So in configuration there are third-party companies which do configuration as per your business and, and Making the changes in standard software to fit your business like they can rewriting the code modification customization and whatever your requirements would need they will install and configure SAP ERP at your company as per your needs. Let's take an example of typical manufacturing company. So yes, first of all, they have CEO controlling module and after that they have FI for financials and it is controlling all the manufacturing processes the input is going to manufacturing processes which is connected to material master pricing vendor master basic data 
customer master and in the end it is going for output of reports and data so all these databases are connected into this process and controlled by fi and co so as we discussed before sap erp system is r3 architecture so you have three layers of systems in this erp enterprise system like in first layer you have users pc and in second layer their application server where they log in into their sap system and perform their daily transactions and in the last layer these uh, there is database server which holds and save and store all the records and database of system of that company so the main layer is database server which have all the all the transactional data master data all the records of the company and in the front layer we have application server and at the third layer presentation layer we have users pc which is used to interact with sap gui for training purpose basically they use two tier client server architecture in one layer we have database and application server and other layer they are users pc which connect to those second layer to perform sap operations so what is a client in sap r3 client is a way to separate data in the system in some way a separate database or also table entry so we have different client on one sap erp system like you can see in this screen they have mandatory column which has 201 and 202 201 is a different line and 202 is a different line so whenever you perform any kind of transaction or perform any kind of activity on sap systems so in the backend database so they store the that entry through that uh, your client number which is a unique number so when you log into your system you have your user id password and client number so basically that client number is used to um, um, is used to navigate you throughout the system and to link your data with your client number so one system can have many as many as clients as they want let's see logging on tab gui so to log on to an r3 system with the sap gui uh, we need to install a sap graphical user interface software loaded on your system and an internet connection with your pc with sap gui you can log into sap and a system uh, which is hosted on another layer of database and application layer so this is how sap gui looks first of all you need a configuration of your system which you want to log in if you don't have any you can see you can click on new item button this screen will show you have to enter description of your system and application server you have to enter ip address and then system id which is a logical name of the system and then you have system number and system type r3 and you have to save this and here your you can see your one of property is saved now you can connect uh, and configure that sap uh, erp system with the name sap server 5 when you double click on that screen you will come to the screen you will enter your client number you will enter your username and password don't worry about language and then just press enter on the first time logging into a new account you will have to it will a pop-up will come to your screen to ask you to change the password so just change the password on first login attempt and this is your home screen which also called say easy access and in this screen we have all the menus and shortcuts so which we want to work so this was an overview of SAP ERP system and we have discussed 
how to create a SAP, uh, uh, how to create a SAP server properties in a SAP GUI and then log into that system. We have also discussed what is SAP. SAP stands for System Application and Program, and ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning. And as we discussed before, SAP is the world's largest ERP system leading the ERP industry and second number here come the Oracle ERP managed by PeopleSoft and then we have Microsoft Dynamics and other small level ERP systems so basically SAP ERP is R3 layer three layer architecture R3 system database layer is different application layer is different and presentation layer which is user system is different so this was an overview thank you very much